Hi guys, this is Vitaly with AFT Dispatch and A2C Logistics and in today's video I'd like to speak with you about fully autonomous driverless AI driven semi trucks. But first, roll the intro. Welcome back. Before we get started, I'd like to ask you to please like the video, be sure you subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell so you never miss a single release of our videos, where every Friday we're talking about something that could benefit you in your trucking businesses and your trucking careers, as well as cover the loads we've successfully booked for our customers consisting of lease on owner operators and carriers operating under their own MC authorities running under our truck dispatch services. As always, guys, big, big thank you for all the likes you provided in all the previous videos. Please do keep them coming. And let's talk about this AI driven uh, semi truck stuff. Guys, we've made uh, you know plenty of videos over the past several years about you know the revolution in AI, autonomous trucking, you know electric trucks, and basically covered it pretty well. And as the technology has been developing, uh, obviously there's uh, more new cool stuff coming out. Now some will uh, see this as cool, others just see this as atrocious news and uh, certainly bad news for the trucking industry. And it'll be interesting to know in the comments below whether or not you think that there are some benefits, if you're brave enough to comment on that, uh, to having driverless uh, trucks, to having fully autonomous uh, semi-trucks on the road. Now, let me kind of uh, explain. In the past, we've looked at Nikola, we've looked at Tesla, we've looked at several other manufacturers. This one's different. Now, it's a new company called Wabi, and they're developing driverless trucks. Now, Wabi's trucks will use generative AI, which can learn and adapt without needing massive amounts of data. Now, this is a, this is a leap from the current technologies. This is very different uh, from current and you know and other self-driving companies that require millions of miles of driven you know data uh, to train these models, and uh, it's very expensive. It's very time-consuming. This system doesn't require that. Uh, it's, it's actually quite similar, I think, to what uh, Elon Musk some time ago unveiled with their updated you know, beta system that wasn't, uh, wasn't available for, uh, for the general consumer, for, for the regular people. But what was interesting is that the, this model was trained based on video, based on good and bad behavior. So it watched video and it knew that this is good behavior and this is bad behavior and that should be avoided. As he said, there wasn't a single line of code in the software telling uh, the software, telling the, the robot basically uh, to stop at stop signs or yield to pe uh, pedestrians, et cetera, et cetera. It learned that by watching like a human being would. So very, very interesting. Now, coming back to Wabi, uh, they have plans to deploy actual, you know, driverless, fully autonomous trucks in Texas next year, 2025. So it's rather... Uh, rather quick, guys. Uh, uh, further on, they, they just secured $200 million from venture capital uh, for venture capital uh, firms and uh, being able to move their company forward with that kind of money. And there are, of course, you know, uh, issues that they're going to be facing just like any other major manufacturer. Uh, but ultimately, uh, this technology is here. Uh, this technology is developing and it will be even more robust in the coming, you know, uh, years, in the coming uh, decades, if you will. And some see this as basically the final nail in the coffin for the trucking industry. Others see it opening up and expanding the industry into, uh, you know, newer and, and, and other avenues, basically. Uh, so how do you guys feel? You know, how, how do you feel uh, driverless trucks will affect the trucking industry? Will they affect trucking jobs? Will they affect truck drivers? Will truck drivers just, you know, become obsolete and, uh, and not be necessary? Uh, what are your safety concerns, if any, you know, about driverless trucks hitting the roads? And finally, as mentioned earlier, if you're brave enough, let us know what are some of the benefits that you think would uh, come from having fully autonomous driverless trucks, especially ones that operate on artificial intelligence. Guys, we'd love to hear from you guys in the comment section below. If you haven't done so, smash the like button, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell. I'm gonna switch over the camera. We're gonna look over loads that we book for our customers and I'll see you guys in just a moment. Welcome back. Let's take a look at some of these loads. Guys, this week we have uh, lots of vans, one reefer and one flatbed. Uh, you know, it looks like we are on trend just as uh, last week, so our rates are holding up, but we certainly could use more money. I'm gonna start off with Milagres in his reefer. Uh, Apopka, Florida, going to Kansas City, Missouri. It's a 36,000 pound load of beverages. Uh, 1,238 loaded miles booked at 21.24. Got him a buck 72 
at that one coming out of Florida, great rate. But then St. Joseph, Missouri, go to Memphis, Tennessee. Uh, it's a 30,000 pound light load of veterinary supplies. Uh, it was temperature controlled 48 to 50 degrees on a reef for a 505 loaded miles booked at 1275. Uh, got them back up there at 252 a loaded mile. Then Truman, Arkansas uh, to Beltsville, Maryland. It was a very light load, 7,614 load, uh, a pound load of porcelain uh tiles 941 loaded miles booked at 3000 bucks got them 594 loaded mile got them back up there and it finished off real strong uh harrisonburg virginia going to college park georgia 10,500 pound load only ten and a half thousand pounds of pork soup base negative 10 on a reefer 540 loaded miles booked at 1100 bucks got them 204 loaded miles so i would say all those loads including the rate coming out of florida i think they did a great great job and uh, running Friday to Friday, gross $7,499. So just shy of $7,500 bucks for the week. 3,224 loaded miles at an average of 233 a loaded mile and only uh, 250 total deadhead miles for the entire week. So excellent job, Milagres, as always. Well, well done. Next, we got a uh, dry van. Dave is the driver. Yankton, South Dakota, going to Ashland, Kentucky. 45,000 pound load of rolled oats. 970 loaded miles booked at 1900 bucks got him a dollar 96 they're coming out of a bad bad market out of south dakota Oof. then wortland kentucky uh going to charleston uh, illinois 44.5 on the way to palletize products 352 loaded miles booked at 900 bucks got him 256 a loaded mile then decatur illinois one pick one drop uh to north kansas city missouri 16,000 pound light loader prepared and preserved foods 345 loaded miles booked at 900 bucks got them 261 a loaded mile then kansas city kansas to uh holdridge nebraska so pretty much zero deadhead 20,000 pound light load again uh dry goods 350 loaded miles booked at 1150 got them awesome rate 329 a loaded mile on that one then russell kansas to brighton colorado 42,000 pound load of agricultural products 368 loaded miles booked at 1200 bucks Got them 326 loaded mile. Then finished off out of Denver, Colorado, going to Colorado Springs. A real quick run there, 42,000 pound of uh, building materials. Uh, just 70 loaded miles, booked at 450 bucks. That got them six bucks and 43 cents per loaded mile. So an excellent job, very, very efficient. Uh, Friday to Friday, $6,500 gross in seven days, running 2,455 loaded miles at, uh, at an average of 265 a loaded mile on a regular dry van, guys. Excellent job, excellent job, David. Next, we've got Shelby and his dry van uh, coming out of uh, Palm. Looks like Papa, Michigan, going to uh, Johnstown, New York. It's a 45,000 pound load of food products, 703 loaded miles, booked at $17.99. Got them 256 a loaded mile. Then uh, Golden Lens Center, uh, New York, going to Brainsville, Pennsylvania, 42,000 pound load of fruit, uh, fruit cookies, 234 loaded miles, booked at $635. Uh, Bucks got them 271 a loaded mile. Then Zero Deadhead, Brainingsville, uh, Pennsylvania, going to Black Mountain, North Carolina. 44.5 load of ingots, 595 loaded miles, booked at 965, got them a buck 62 on that one. And made up the difference, coming out of uh, Hidden Net, North Carolina, uh, going to Lakeland, Florida. It's a 20,000 pound light load of furniture uh, wrapped uh, or furniture wrapping and boxes, something like that, or furniture and boxes. 635 loaded miles booked at 2250 got them 354 loaded mile and a good amount of miles made up the difference there finished off strong with homer mill georgia going to crossville tennessee it's a load of uh, landscaping material 44,000 pounds 443 loaded miles booked at 1050 got them an easy 237 a loaded mile and got out got them out of that bad market so uh, that he got paid really well to get into. Uh, nonetheless, Shelby did a great job Saturday to Saturday, gross $66.99, just shy of $6,700 for the week. 2,610 loaded miles at an average of 257 a loaded mile average. An excellent job in today's market, keeping those standards up, guys. Next we got, uh, let's get with our flatbed. Patrick's the driver, Kettle, uh, Kettle Falls, Washington to uh, Watkins, Minnesota. That's a long run right there. 48,000 pound load of lumber, tarps were required. 1,397 loaded miles booked at 2,180. Got him a buck 56, heavy load, lots of miles, and uh, made up the difference out of Brookings, South Dakota, going to Hanover, uh, New Hampshire, with a very light load of only 5,000 pounds of miscellaneous products. 1,571 loaded miles booked at 4,200 bucks. Got him 267 loaded miles. Guys, it pays to cheap those quote unquote uh, <clears throat> cheap loads 
because you can make up a difference on the way back with a super light load and make up a, uh, make a big difference in your bottom line. Monday to Monday, Patrick Randall's two runs ended up grossing 63.80 gross on his uh, on his week. 2,968 loaded miles at an average of 215 a loaded mile and only 167 uh, deadhead miles in total. So an excellent job, Patrick. Uh, things are definitely, definitely looking up. Next, we've got Lucas and his dry van coming out of Ankeny, Iowa, going to College Park, Georgia. 42,000 pound load of bottled juice. 896 loaded miles booked at 1900 bucks, got him 212 a loaded mile. Then Anderson, South Carolina, or Springfield, Missouri. It's a 15,000 pound light load of food product. Six, uh, no, 791 loaded miles. Booked at 1550, got him a buck 96 on that one. Then Springfield, Missouri, zero deadhead going to Irving, Texas. 42,000 pound load of food product, 429 loaded miles booked at $1,111. 1111, make that wish, guys. I got him 259 loaded mile and he finished off with Sunnyvale, Texas, going to Panama uh, City, Florida. 43.5 on uh, the weight, a load of flooring. 749 loaded miles booked at 1950, got him 260 per loaded mile on that one. And that was it. Thursday to Thursday, Lucas ran 2,865 loaded miles at an average of 227 loaded mile on a regular dry van, uh, grossing 6,511. Dollars. So excellent job, Lucas. Way to go, sir. Now, uh, last but certainly not least, we got Robert in his drive in. Come that a min, uh, uh, looks like Nebraska going to Georgetown, Georgia. Light load, 23,000 pounds of FAK, freight of all kinds, 1,261 loaded miles booked at 2,400 bucks, got him $1.90 on that one. Then Cottonman, uh, Alabama going to Fairfield, Ohio, 43.5 on a uh, load of roll stock, 618 loaded miles booked at 1,095, got him a buck 77 and got him out of there. Then out of Florence, Kentucky to Tampa, Florida, 41.4 load of recycling products, 905 loaded miles booked at 2,300 bucks, got him 254 loaded mile, and finished off at a Clearwater, Florida, going to Jacksonville, Florida. Quick run there, 15,000 pound light load of packaging materials, 221 loaded miles, booked at 500 bucks, got him 226, a loaded mile there. An excellent job, Robert, Friday to Friday, regular dry van, uh, $6,295 in gross, ran 3,005 loaded miles at an average of 209 per loaded mile average. Excellent job, sir. Welcome back and thanks for sticking around. Guys, as Owida's Executive Vice President Louis Pugh recently said, you know, his truck's Bluetooth module sometimes has a hard time connecting to his phone. So, you know, enough of that talk about the, you know, AI and AGI and driverless semi trucks being driven by robots. I think it's safe to assume that trucking is probably safe for the you know, for the foreseeable future at least. So if you see yourself in that future and right now you're kind of struggling because the markets are what they are, guys, if you're not making this kind of money, if you're not grossing this, if you're not running these types of miles, if you're not running efficiently, or if, you know, if you're a leased on owner operator, maybe the leasing company's taking a little bit more off the top or not being completely honest and transparent with you, then do yourself a favor and get in touch with us. Call or text us. It's 801-448-6363. You can also get more information on our website at aftdispatch.com. And until next week, guys, stay healthy, be wealthy. Take care.